I have an unhealthy amount of hours in the game and there's no signs of stopping. I need to leave my basement. <laughs> Anyways, let's not talk about that. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about uh, a perspective. Maybe not, not talking about. We're going to be, I'm going to be showing you a perspective on how PvP and PvE server servers differ. Because I've played a lot of hours in PvE servers and I've played a lot of hours in PvP servers. I hope this will help clear clear the air, especially for new players. Um, this this video is targeted to more, uh, you know, on those who are confused what the difference is between PvP and PvE servers. And I hope this video will help you. What prompted me to make this video is that I see a lot of people hopping into the game and they're like, Oh, why can't I kill this guy? Why can't I raid this guy? Why can't I steal his shit? Whatever. I just want to clear the air for people who are hopping into the game or who are planning to hop into the game. If you go to PvP servers, it is not Rust. It is not DayZ. This game is different. It is going the MMO-ish route, I guess, with the survival crafting elements on the side. <laughs> so the survival crafting element is their open world experience, but essentially it is an MMO. Now. With that out of the way, we can talk about how PvP servers and PvE servers are different. The only difference between the PvP and PvE servers is their endgame. PvP servers have wars, PvE servers have prime wars, which is essentially fighting these big bosses. And, uh, you know, this is a large scale PvE, PvE event. You can uh, fight it with your buddies or you can fight it with the server. In PvP servers, it is essentially just guilds versus guilds, if you are familiar with that concept. If you have played MMOs before, that is essentially their gameplay loop. Other than that, the experience is the same. PvE is the same. The open world experience is the same. When it comes to open world PvP, it still requires you and the other person to be flagged as a Chaos player or, you know, flag up for PvP to kill each other. Other than that, there's nothing. It's still the same. Now that, you know, that's that's the simplest way I can think of explaining the difference between the two because there's not much there, there's no there's no big difference between the two. That's that's the only thing. The open world experience are still the same. Now, that I explained that, I want to share to you guys a perspective or you know, the experience that I have with both servers. I want to talk about PvE servers first because that's where I first hopped on. I hopped on PvE servers because at first I thought PvP servers are going to be like Rust. And I don't like that experience. I don't like getting griefed. I don't like getting killed when I'm doing my quests. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like to be offline raided when I, you know, if me and my friends go to sleep. By the next day, we lost our shit. We don't like that. So that's why we opted for a PvE server, which is fine. We had fun. We had fun killing all this shit. We had fun exploring because the the open world exploration of Once Human is pretty nice. They have these puzzles, you know. Although it is not really hard to kill this uh, to kill the mobs or whatnot, it was still fun. It didn't have to be you know mind grueling difficulties to keep us engaged, which was okay. The only thing that I found you know mundane or boring i guess uh when we reached the end game the end game was basically just grinding materials to kill these big bosses and it kind of feels like the builds that we were making was just useless because destroying the boss's shield requires big booms anyway or bombs rockets or whatever you require those to deal uh damage to their shield and then you dump your mags into their flesh i guess and even then I even if you're like you know built for more damage or whatnot it's still it, it feels very insignificant because there's like a lot of you anyway and you get to kill them pretty easily but i guess that's just because you know i played the easier difficulties by the time by the time the higher difficulties uh, released i was already bored with pve servers so i opted to try pvp servers 
but that's it that's basically the experience for pve servers it was a it was a grind material grind uh war bands didn't mean anything or the guilds didn't mean anything so that was like my take or my feeling when i played pve servers i just felt like there was no incentive to, to make a war band or to make a guild because there was no rewards for it or nothing going on for it but that's just me if you find pve servers enjoyable then that's you i don't want to i'm not here to compare by the way guys i just want to be i just want to be clear i'm not here to compare which is better i am here to share my perspective on it because every every player has his own you know uh mode of entertainment i guess or their version of fun and i have mine so i hope you guys can see that for pvp servers i had way more fun just because i can do both if i wanted to like if i wanted to shut down my brain and just do some farming and building my house i can do that uh and if i wanted to compete or you know get shot or shoot other players i can also do that which is pretty cool in my opinion now the end game for pvp servers i like it the gameplay loop of you know conquering territories being stronger than the other guild or you're you know you're working for you know better better strats i just found it more enjoyable i am a sucker for large-scale pvp so that's probably why i'm biased towards pvp servers but you know it feels like i am grinding for something that's the other thing too it feels like i want to min max my stuff just because i want to be stronger than the other players and not to mention that war bands are incentivized to work it work with each other so that's one of the things that you know that makes me have fun in pvp servers and also not to mention that the things that i've been doing in pve servers i can do in pvp servers anyway like the hard mode dungeons hard mode bosses it's also available for pvp servers which kind of doesn't make sense to me because i just wish they just combined both just so they get the best of both worlds but i don't know i don't know what they can do to cater to such an audience but yeah that's it that's basically the um the things why i enjoy pvp servers more with all that being said i hope you guys have gained a perspective as well on how pvp and pve servers work and if you are a long time player and you are in this video i hope you would share your thoughts as well on why do you think pvp servers are better or pve servers are better uh, not to compare but i just want to know your thoughts or your experience on said servers uh it's also helpful for other people who can see the comments because they could you know at least um have a contrast i guess if that's the word on how good would the experience would be it's basically just a review you know on what the experience is gonna be but of course above all else i would still encourage you to try it out for yourself you know there's no better experience than to uh there's no better there's no better way to know how it is than to experience it for yourself but at least this is just a you know an overview i guess so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.